Culture trendsetter who's making a difference in their field. Tonight, CW33's Roni Proter introduces us to two women who are transforming the design industry with a lot of heart and soul. How does your home make you feel? Warm, cozy, inviting, or cold and callous? It's a question Lisa Robison, an accomplished interior designer, asked herself two years ago. I work with a privileged clientele. But the more I thought about it, the more I realized that oftentimes it's the people who can least afford good design who can benefit most from it. Along with Lisa Robeson, they formed Dwell with Dignity, which offers interior furnishings to people who are transitioning out of homelessness and into self-sufficiency. We go in and we give them a space that is warm, inviting, where they feel safe. They feel valued. But these swanky interior furnishings don't start out looking this way. This is how the items arrive, from showrooms and individual donors. Then five well-known Dallas designers took the items from the warehouse and created these vignettes to show what you can do with thrift store finds. This vignette was done by Abby Fenimore of Studio 1025, and she just did an amazing job. This is one of my favorite pieces in the space. This originally was a sort of um, cream-colored, shabby, chic look. And one of our designers, Beth DiTolo, came in and lacquered it black. This does not look like the thrift stores that I've been in, ladies, I have to tell you. Thank you. That's so, the point. The women opened this Dwell with Dignity pop-up shop to the public last Friday. Now we can shop the designer interiors, and the money goes back to Dwell to help furnish more homes for those in need. The opening night, we raised just over $20,000, which was amazing. Dwell with Dignity will be open in a temporary space in the design district through October so you can shop cool stuff for a great price and feel good about where the money's going. Roni Proter, CW33 News.